welcome back. Today we are in Amsterdam and we are so excited because it's cruise day. Behind us is Jewel of the Seas waiting for us to board. We are so excited for this cruise because it's our very first time on Jewel of the Seas as well as any Radiance mm -hmm. class ship. Typically we go for the larger ships from yeah. Royal Caribbean like Oasis class or Ovation class but we could not pass mm -hmm. up this itinerary. We are embarking on a 12 night cruise. We are starting in Amsterdam. We go to Scotland, Ireland, England, and Wales, and we are so excited to explore all of these new ports to us. It's about 11 a.m. Yeah. right now, so I think it's about time that we head on to the ship. I think the first stop, Windjammer. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Home for the next 12 nights. Uh, Rachel and Jill. Currently 11.08. Just got to security. Look how empty it is. I have a feeling we'll be on the ship so soon. Check-in time was 11.30, but nobody has checked yet, which we finally don't wish like, so. We're so close. So close. Okay, time for some pictures of the ship. And then one jammer. I'm hungry. Me too. That was, there's like nobody here. I don't know if it's... I guess it's not as big of a ship as we used to, but... And we're early. We are pretty early. Hopefully the windjammer is as dead. Yes. We are so close. Okay. We have to get the shot of us stepping on the ship for yeah, the first always. time. Always. We're so close. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's been too many months since we've been on a ship. Hello. We made it. <laughs> So as we come on, the ship is actually looking a little bit busy, but it's just because no one knows where to go yet. So let's let's find some elevators and head upstairs. You ready? It's food time. To the Windjammer. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Enjoy your life. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here's our first lunch on Jewel. It's always it always looks a little weird because you want to try everything. And then by the end of the cruise, we will, yeah. we will start to narrow it down. We have 12 good. days of eating in the Windjammer. So this is the first <laughs> one. Rach got some pasta and some chicken. I got some yeah. fruit and chicken and bread as well. Selection was okay. Yeah, it's honestly not bad for a small ship. So we'll let you know how it is. All right, we're currently on our way to the Solarium. We just finished up at the Windjammer. The selections were pretty good. The food was okay. I think we were a little too spoiled with our last cruise. Virgin voyages, um, so it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment to the buffet style. But other than that, our bellies are full, and we're off to go hang out on a pool chair. It's a very short walk from the back of the ship to the front of the ship, actually, which is kind of nice. I didn't put it in the back. It's also really nice. That, uh, a lot different solarium. Yeah, and it's nice that it's enclosed because we are in Amsterdam and it's kind of cold out and rainy today, but it's I all closed. I think our whole cruise will be about the, that weather, so yeah. we will be spending a lot of time in it. So. We're going to go find coffee. Coffee and get our mustard station uh, checked off the list because that's always something you have to do on the first day. So we're gonna go get that done. We didn't get the drink package for this cruise. We figured we only have two, two or three days. Um, so we're just gonna use our diamond drinks for our drinks. And our first one will be our coffee. And then we'll probably save the three for uh, the next festivities. <laughs> Okay, that was so easy. A quick little check-in, less than a minute, and now we're headed to get our coffee. I got a white chocolate mocha with almond milk, and Rach, you got... I smell a latte. Yes. Um, so on the smaller ships, they don't have a separate Starbucks, so you can usually use your diamond drinks or your beverage package here for Starbucks drinks, and it's still the same thing. Yeah. If you're on the bigger ships, drink packages do not work at Starbucks. And they also have a bunch of snacks here as well, all included. 
We already warned him that he would be seeing a lot of us. <laughs> There's only one coffee place on board at Jewel for our iced coffees. So we will definitely be going back there so many times this cruise. We're currently just gonna hang out in the solarium for the next little while. We both have our coffees. We also we also have all of our stuff with us still because we can't get into our room until 2 p.m. and it's only about 12:20. It is just now two o'clock. They just came over the announcements telling us that our staterooms are now ready. So we're gonna go down to deck number four and check our stateroom out and hopefully get our luggage. We've just been enjoying the solarium for a little while. The sun actually did come out, so it's nice. I forget how cold it is when you're in the solarium. It feels really nice and it's really relaxing. Um, I'm sure we're gonna spend a lot of time here. Yeah, so let's head down to our room and check out our steam room. And here is our room. Here's our room. So they leave the keys outside of your door. This is us. So we have an inside cabin, which we weren't too thrilled about until we figured out the location. All right, so here's very loud. Here's our uh, first looks of the cabin. Stay tuned for a room tour. We're gonna do a full cabin tour on our channel coming soon. Um, but yeah, quick look here. It actually looks pretty spacious yeah. compared to some of the other inside rooms that we have had. So we're quite I pleased. I feel for about that chair. Yeah, uh, it looks a little bit uh, <laughs> gross and run down, but it's all right. We won't be using it. Um, yeah, it looks good. So like I said, we did end up with an inside cabin, but our location, you cannot beat. We are right off of the Centrum and right near the elevator. So that's gonna be really handy this cruise. So we're going to um, kind of, I don't know if we'll unpack. We don't have our big luggage yet or our carry-on suitcase that we brought. So kind of just check out our room and I think explore our next plan is maybe go up to the Diamond Lounge and see Ooh, what's yeah, up there, like. explore the ship a little bit. It kind of reminds me of the vision class as well as freedom class so i feel like we're a little bit in between those two ships but so far so good and we're gonna go explore all right back out to explore and here we are in the center room. it's so nice how close we are to all of the activities on the ship On deck number 13, there's the concierge club, not the diamond club, <laughs> and this is the diamond lounge. It actually has a very nice little entrance here. Insert card. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you I forgot I was on a whole shit. Tap and go. Try again. It's pretty quiet in here. Also pretty small. We do have a coffee machine. <laughs> Alright, we just came back to the room. We're doing a little bit of unpacking and uh, just got our ducks in a row. We're gonna have to put our tags on there before we start hiding them. But yeah, we're just unpacking a little bit of stuff. My backpack's over there. We still don't have our luggage, so maybe we'll wait a little while for usually that. It doesn't take this long um, when we don't get into our staterooms till like two, they're, they're usually here. I do see some luggage like down at the end of the hall, so hopefully it's coming, but I'd love to get unpacked and then sail away is in gloves. Okay, we lied. The luggage was here. Was we just had to do a little walk down the yeah. hall. 
where all of the luggage was down there. Ew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, now time to officially uh, unpack. We were just on our way up to the solarium when we were like, oh, why don't we check in the hall? And of course, it's here. So yeah. I just don't like leaving out in the hall because we're going to be up there for like several more hours and it's going to feel great to get all packed up all unpacked and we're gonna settle in. Now that we have our luggage, it's the perfect time to introduce today's sponsor of our video. We have decided to partner with Level 8 Luggage. Jillian and I each have a carry-on suitcase from them, which we have tested out the past three days and I think we are in love. It was the best quality suitcase we have ever had. The wheels were so smooth in Amsterdam through all of the streets and we were also able to pack 16 days worth of clothes in these luggages so I would say that's a win and we didn't have to check our luggage which was perfect. And this is Jillian's suitcase here. It's really important for content creators like us to make sure that our electronics are traveling safely. I felt so confident that my laptop would be safe through all of my travels and it looks so sleek you can't even tell but as soon as I unlock this pocket my laptop fits perfectly I have a MacBook Pro and there's tons of space I feel confident that it's safe in there and easily locked up and Rachel's here she picked the most beautiful color of yes pink. this was drawn to me I even matched my nails with it again like Jill said this was the smoothest suitcase I've ever had mm -hmm. the it was moving even without me pushing I was extremely impressed and as well I packed 16 days worth of clothes in here and um, yeah, I have zero complaints. I was able to stuff clothes in here and then with how um, amazing quality the zippers were, it just held up, held all my clothes in there. And, and then on this side, I packed with their packing cubes, which were probably also the best packing cubes I've ever used. You can easily remove the labels and help keep your things organized. So thanks again to Level 8 for sponsoring our video. If you're interested in these suitcases, be sure to click on the link in our description below and Jillian will put our discount code right here on the screen. The Cruising Sisters 10 will help save you 10%. It is now 3.20. We are officially unpacked and we're gonna go up and enjoy the Sailorium for a little bit longer until we go to the Diamond Lounge. Or Sail Away. Whatever or comes Sail Away, first. yeah. I think we're both a little bit uh, hungry. We are, but... Yeah, Diamond Lounge opens at 5, Sail Away also says it's at 5, but sometimes it's several hours later, so. Yeah, but maybe I'll go and get some fruit or something. There's a yeah. cafe in the solarium, so I'm going to grab a little Ooh, snack good idea. and some water. I'm really thirsty, and we're going to go up and read a little bit. I just started this book. Rach is reading. This one. And Colleen Hoover fans, as yeah. you can tell. Yeah. And then once, once we finish these, we swap books so that we only had to bring one book each. You have your room key? No, you don't. I see it. Over there. Got it! <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright, again, we've just been relaxing in the solarium, and now it's time to go to the Diamond Lounge for some happy hour snacks. probably stick to the warm lounge. Yes, so we're actually sailing away probably in just a minute here. It's almost five o'clock and that's when we're supposed to sail away, but as you can see, it's pretty windy out there, a little bit cold. So I think we might just stay in here for a little while. Might venture out once we're done our snacks, but it seems like the perfect viewing spot. Come down to deck number 12 where we're gonna watch sail away for a little while. Rach looks a little bit cold. I don't think it's that it's cold out. It's actually not that cold. I still wore that sweater. <laughs> because I... It's a little windy though. Yeah. But I'm gonna take in the views. Diamond Lounge 
stumbled upon the casino, which should be opening soon because we just sailed away. I'm sure it will be busy. <laughs> We're walking out of the schooner bar, or I guess the schooner bar area. We didn't actually go to the bar, and we found our first deck of the trip. Chair and Eva. All right, we're taking this one with us, and Let's we're gonna rehide it. Let's be clear, we didn't stumble upon this duck. Jillian has been looking for ducks the second we got on the ship, so. <laughs> I do love looking for ducks. I also love hiding ducks, yeah. which is why we brought so many to hide. hide okay. yeah. Just came back to the room quickly to get ready for our very busy night, and to our surprise, our stateroom attendant has already separated our beds. So that's something that you can ask your stateroom attendant to do. We didn't even say anything to our stateroom attendant. It just it doesn't matter to us. For us. Yeah. I just I guess I'll get kicked last by Jillian. Yeah, we're right. sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, it is nice. Um, and yeah, definitely request for that if that's something you want. We've just spent the last 15 minutes in the room getting ready for a very busy night. We have lots going on tonight. We have a ventriloquist comedian show at 7.15, which currently starts in 10 minutes. So we're going to go catch that in the Coral Theater. And then we have a game show at 8 o'clock in the Centrum. And then we have our dinner at 8.30. And then there's another game show in the Safari Club after that. So very busy night. We're going to go head out to the show here and we'll bring you along with us for the night. We are lost. What? We're lost. No, I told you it's at the front and we were at the back. I feel lost. No. We're going towards the front to the theater. Let's see how much seating is left. I don't know how busy it'll be on embarkation day. I know everyone has different plans. Some people are tired, jet lagged. So let's see if we can get any seats. Oh, honestly, it's not bad. There's lots of room. <coughs> <coughs> shoes she took off her shoes but oh, you're alone i tore off my pants she tore off her pants wait a minute how long did this go on we were a little concerned because in the theater <laughs> we had something so this explains yeah the ship was really shaking we were like where are we what is happening and this is what's happening This switch is red, yes. So that means everybody here, this is alive, come back to the middle. So we got random, random citizen you climb on. Yeah, you got three lives, just letting you know. Yeah, that's how we play. What is the highest grossing holiday movie of all time? Unfortunately, it's not included uh, the best, you know, Christmas movie ever. Hey, you. Hard. He told you right away. He told you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, the highest grossing, ho the highest grossing yeah. holiday movie of all time is it this? Christmas Story. Elf or that? Home Alone. Oh. Elf. No, no. Is it this? Elf or that? Home Alone. I have a feeling it's gonna be rough seas by the looks of this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we've yeah. just left the channel. And I think that's it's why really wavy. Like yeah, hopefully not. We'll see. <laughs> just waited about 10 minutes in line and now we're being seated at a table. This is the main dining room on deck number four. We have made it to our welcome aboard dinner. Rachel's currently working on the Instagram story of the menu. <laughs> All right, we have, it looks like a really good menu tonight. Hi. Rachel and I both ordered the spinach dinner. 
Okay. First appetizer. So we've only had this once before because this is the new menu that we tried on Anthem of the Seas back in March. This is a lot runnier, so maybe they're perfecting it. What kind of cheese? Skin? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try some too. And second appetizer for Rachel is a classic Caesar salad that she always gets. We were a little worried when we came in. There was a huge line and it's super busy, but super fast service. Yeah, service has been great so far. Alright, our main has arrived. I got the chicken set and Rachel got the prime rib. So, yes, big. It's very loud. We'll see how I do. <laughs> Are you eating for me now? Let's start with the potatoes. Potatoes are good? Okay, well, let's eat. All right, and to finish off our dinner, we both got... We did the classic, the royal cheesecake. It looks so good. I can already... I know exactly what this will taste like, and yeah. I know I will love it. We're both already full, but you know we have to have dessert. I'm not and we also yeah. grabbed yeah. some coffee. coffee. Thank you so much. Exhausted. Very difficult. We still have one more game show. Majority rules, I believe. Which usually isn't the first night, so that'll be fun. Probably grab a couple drinks there. Yeah. Margarita. It's 9:40, and we still have a long night ahead of us. Hence why we're <laughs> drinking coffee. Also, looks like there's a pretty sunset, so maybe we will go put a sweater on and go to the top deck. We'll see. I don't know if we actually will end up doing that. But we have high hopes. Good plan. It was a good dinner. Service was amazing. It was super fast. And everything tasted good. Night one. Only 11 more to go. We're going to need some bigger clothes by the end of it. Alright, this is as close as we can get through these dirty windows of sunset. Top deck. Is actually, I don't know. We wanted to go up to deck number 12, oh, okay. but they've closed it off because it's too windy up there, so no guests are allowed to go up there. So, this is as much of the sunset that we can see, which is fine. We still have yeah. 11 more nights to hopefully catch a nice sunset. Downfall of an inside room. You have to come out to the main decks, but it's still pretty. All right, I think it's time for some drinks. What do you say, Jill? or the safari club i'm not sure where we're gonna head it but it's deck number six and both of them are in the same area so let's go see what's going on down there okay so good idea we were heading to the uh safari club and or the safari lounge and i think we're getting sidetracked by the casino so we might play our free money here but we'll see how it goes i don't know if we're feeling lucky but we're gonna try our best twelve dollars <laughs> big spenders so i accidentally just hit the max bet and I just won $70. <laughs> um, I guess that's a good mistake to do. We so had delicious drinks. This is not what we ordered. <laughs> Wait, you just ordered a margarita. And they came frozen, but I mean, they're amazing. It is Joe really good stuff. night in the casino. Um, with diamond status, you get $6 free. And then for some reason it was $8, it was like a bonus. So we always play that for fun. We're not big gamblers. But Jill, we found a fun machine, and so we were playing the money, and then all of a sudden we won over $100. Yeah. So that was a successful night. Mm -hmm. Like like on the street, so if you stop in the middle of the way, they're gonna be dominoes and it's not gonna be fun. We have push all the elevator buttons. Majority says stand in the way. 
Oh, it's like two teams, all right? So two teams are taking a point. There is no too many things, guys. Too many. Things. watch majority of those game show and now we're in that weird time where there's nothing to do the club is open but yes. our thoughts are like we want to stay there till two <laughs> three hours is a little bit too much to be and it's like in the if you go music. really early it's very dead it's quiet and dead yeah so, so we're just enjoying like the centrum um we actually might go get food to have it in the room um, yeah we, we saw figured out that food all food on the ship closes at 1 a.m so we're thinking we might go grab something and put it in the fridge for a little yes. snack later just in case we're hungry. It has happened to us before on these smaller ships where there's not 24 hour like snacks at Royal Promenade or Sorrento's isn't open till 3 a.m. So we're thinking ahead because yes. we've made these mistakes several times and we just want to have food in the room in case we're hungry. So. Our 2 or 3 a.m. selves will definitely <laughs> thank ourselves right. for sure. planning ahead which we don't usually do. So it's a good idea and yeah we'll take you up to the club with us when we do yeah. finally go up there. Going up. Whoa, you're gonna close the doors on me. Sorry. Oh, we're going to deck 13. What? Unless you had other plans for it's deck 11. Solarium, deck 11. Why are we going? Oh, I forgot we were going to the solarium. We had a good plan. This is a really cool elevator. You can't see it right now, but it is. It's pitch black out there, but yeah. Like we said, we came up to the solarium for some snacks and it looks so pretty here at night. Look at all the lights flickering on and off. So peaceful in here. Not very many people at all. And we're heading over to the little cafe for some food. I'm already excited for this. This is planning ahead. It actually ahead. smells so good. We got good. the barbecue chicken. So they actually don't have the Sorrentos on this ship. It's located in the solarium with things that are like at Park Cafe. So like the sandwiches and stuff like that. So it was busy, but this is going to be really good tonight. It smells so good. Yeah, we're going to go put it in the fridge and eat cold pizza it's, at probably 3am. I think it's probably the exact same as Sorrentos, just not yeah. made in Sorrentos. In Sorrentos, yeah. yeah. Not a big enough ship for a whole pizza no, place. No, it was really busy. They should maybe open up another Late night. Royal, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Royal, we need more food options. <laughs> Open past 1 a.m. preferably. Yes, thank, you. thank you. And look at all of her towel friends. Aww. Aww. 11.45. Okay, look at this cool thing I just realized, Jill. I'm amazed. There's elevator buns on oh, here. Oh, cool. What what is, what's the difference? I have no idea. Maybe one side is this side. Is this side, I think. Oh, yeah, one has an extra up arrow that way. Yeah, this one only goes up to 11. Okay. This side goes up to 13. Cool. And we're going all the way up to 13. I didn't even know those were even connected to, to Vortex. Thing. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Okay, we are going to... Go up. It's called the Vortex. Um, it's like the Viking... Oh, it is the Viking Club Lounge. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay. Vortex, I think, is just what they call the nightclub. Right. I remember this one on Vision. It was very large. Um, we actually hung out there a little bit today when we couldn't get oh, into the yeah, Diamond Lounge. Yeah. yeah. So it's a pretty has, big area. It has a really good view of all the water when you can see it. Yeah, but it's currently really dark though, <laughs> so I uh, can't see much. Ooh. Going down. Vortex. You might need a room keys to check in. Yeah. Some cruises they make you, some they assume you're old enough. really trippy it's like the bar spinning okay so I got a tequila soda Rach got a margarita she's usually one for more of the sweet drinks do you want to try mine Rach? okay try it give mine a try I really like mine <laughs> it's pretty strong <laughs> <laughs> we have our truly to go. 
<laughs> Both of us got one because we couldn't use our event. four drinks. Yeah, we couldn't even use our four drinks. No. Um, this is going to be good for the pool tomorrow. And we're off cool. to bed. We're yeah. going to have probably our pizza that we got. We met some really nice people. A great bartender. We love meeting good bartenders on the first day because we're just going to go back to them <laughs> the rest of the cruise. The bartender did say he was the only one for our cruise in the like the bar area. Jill definitely got some videos of yes. that. But on a Caribbean one, there's three bartenders. So I think that kind of says what the club atmosphere is like. And honestly, the club atmosphere is what Jillian and I really look forward to. The party and the music and everybody hanging out. So we have realized there's a trend with these smaller ships. Mm -hmm. The club scene or the party scene is kind of non-existent. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, we will definitely miss it. I mean, this cruise, we're coming for the itinerary, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe these smaller ships just are for us. So although we really enjoyed our day on board Jewel of the Seas, we will see what the next 11 nights yeah, have. It's also the, only the first night. Yeah. 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 So we'll see how it goes and of course we will update you as our cruise goes along but again thank you so much for watching make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our next 11 videos on board jewel of the seas so we will see you tomorrow